Those aren't doggies. They're dolls. Those tapers spend almost 90% of their day eating. They may not really be pigs, but they sure eat like one. I wonder if anyone has ever slipped on a banana peel in the jungle. Fiddler Crab. F-I-D-D-L-E-R-C-R-A-B. Male Fiddler Crabs have one normal claw and one huge claw. This huge claw is often seen flashing in the sun when a Fiddler Crab is warning other crabs to stay away. Both male and female Fiddler Crabs use their small claws to pick up the tiny plants they eat. Each crab makes a tunnel in the sand, burrowing down as deep as a foot. When the tide comes in, the crab covers the tunnel hole with a mud door and sits inside its dry home until the tide goes back out. Scorpion. S-C-O-R-P-I-O-N. Scorpions can grow up to five inches long and their tail often has a poison stinger on the end. Scorpions use the stinger to knock out the spiders and other bugs they eat. Scorpions that lose their legs or tail in a fight can grow them back if they live long enough. Scorpions hunt at night and in the day hide under rocks or in cracks to keep cool. Female scorpions carry their babies around on their back until the babies can take care of themselves. Dole. Banana. B A N A N A. This soft fruit comes in all sizes, as small as 3 inches and as big as 12 inches. Bananas also come in colors from pale yellow to dark red. One type of banana, called the plantain, must be cooked before eaten and tastes a bit like a potato. The first banana tree farms were started in India over 4,000 years ago. When banana farms were started in Africa, chimpanzees soon discovered how good bananas tasted. Today, banana trees grow in jungles all over the equator. Clear cut. C L E A R C U T. A clear cut is an area where all the trees have been cut down. People clear cut jungle areas to make room for things like banana or bamboo farms. Sometimes areas are clear cut so the trees can be used as fuel for homes and factories. But if too much of the jungle is clear cut, the jungle animals and plants don't have any place to live, and they die. When very few of an animal are left, the animal is called an endangered species. Taper. T-A-P-I-R. These shy animals are smaller cousins of the horse and rhinoceros. Tapers live alone spending most of the night eating plants on the jungle floor. Their keen sense of smell helps them find the tastiest plants, and they use their flexible nose to pull the food into their mouth. When scared, tapers run and jump into a nearby river and swim underwater. If the taper is lucky, the enemy will leave before the taper comes up for air. Ginger. G I. N G E R. Below the long stem and grass like leaves of this plant grows the knobby brown root called ginger. Ginger has a hot sweet flavor that is used in cooking soups, meats, cookies, and cakes. It is also used in drinks like ginger ale and to flavor some medicines. All these things can be made from fresh ginger root or from a powder made from dried ginger root. Pitcher plant. P I T C H E R P L A N T. 
Most plants are content to make food from sunlight and dirt. But pitcher plants prefer to eat bugs. Its leaves are shaped like a water pitcher, with juice sticking to the opening. Bugs land on the leaf and follow the juice trail into the bulging center. Once inside, the bugs fall into a pool of poison in the center and drown. Some pitcher plants are so big, a pigeon could fit inside. Bower, Bower bird. B O W E R B I R D. A bower is an archway of leaves and vines, shaped like the letter U. The male bower bird builds his bower to attract a female. He starts building the bower out of sticks and then decorates it with colorful flowers, seeds, berries, and plants. After the bower is finished, he calls the females to see his colorful bower. If a female approves of the male's bower, both bower birds leave the bower to start a family. The actual nest is built out of twigs in another part of the jungle. Peacock, P E A C O C K. These birds are known for their fan like tails, which they use to attract a mate. The females are actually called pea hens, and like the female cock of the rock, have dull feathers to make them hard to see when they sit on their nests. Also, like the cock of the rock, it is the male that is the colorful one. Both males and females eat seeds, fruits, and bugs but they are really not very picky and will eat almost anything. People have reported peacocks chasing each other all around the bamboo stalks. Then the peacocks just stop and walk away. Naturalists are still trying to figure out this odd behavior. Cock of the Rock C-O-C-K-O-F-T-H-E-R-O-C-K Like the peacock, it's the male cock of the rock that is the more colorful. Only the males have the bright orange feathers that make this bird so recognizable. The males gather in big groups on the jungle floor, all using their colorful feathers to try and attract a female. But the male doesn't help the female hatch the eggs. Only the female will sit on the nest because her dull brown feathers make it hard for enemies to spot both her and the nest. To be extra safe, the female often makes her nest on ledges high above the jungle floor. Wow! Look at the size of that red flower by the tree! I'll bet that's about the biggest flower in the world! I've heard there are elephants around here. Let's keep our eyes open. Wow! Look at the size of that red flower by the tree. I'll bet that's about the biggest flower in the world.